So here are the symptoms of someone who's diagnosably amusic. Music is perceived as noise. It's pretty boring, uncomfortable, or even unpleasant to listen to. They generally don't even like music. Or they're unable to hear if a pitch is going up or down, even in speaking. So that being said, let's test it, all right? Let's really convince you that you're probably not actually tone deaf, all right? You wouldn't be here, all right? So let's do this a couple ways. Our first test is to discriminate whether a pitch is ascending or going up or descending, going down. So I'm going to make a weird noise and then you tell me which way it's going. I'm going to feel a little bit like Dora the Explorer, but here we go. Okay. We... What direction did it go, up or down? Right, it went up. Okay, let's try another one. Whee! Up or down? Right, it went down. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple. Let's let's mix it up, right, and keep track of which direction the pitch goes. Whee! What happened? Right, it went up, down, up, okay? If that was hard, if you're like, okay, that was tricky, I feel weird and I don't like her staring at me while I'm answering the question. Okay, let's do a couple more tests, okay? So let's do it in terms of melodies. Can you tell me the difference between these two melodies? You'll probably actually know the melodies, but it doesn't actually matter if you do or not, okay? So just tell me if you can hear the difference between them and know that they're different songs. Here's the first one. Here's melody two. Could you tell the difference? All right. The first song was Mary Had a Little Lamb. The second song was Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You've known these songs for forever. Okay, you probably could tell the difference, but even if you couldn't, even if you're like, oh, I get those mixed up, okay? Another test is are you often conscious that you're not lining up with people when you're singing? That your pitch is off? Are you aware that you're not singing the same thing as everyone else? Another major indication that you're not actually tone deaf. True and music people can't tell that they're even singing off key, okay? One more question that will be hopefully the defining factor for you being convinced that you can do this, okay? Do you even like music? Do you enjoy listening to music? Does music bring you pleasure and happiness? Okay, if that's the case, which I'm sure it is if you're even here, if you even want to learn how to sing, again, you're not tone deaf. You can learn. People that are a music are bothered by music or they don't get it, okay? So congratulations. Now, the real icing on the cake, the real catch to all of this is even if you were, a music, okay? Even if you failed all of those tests, right? Even if y you feel like lost at this point in the course, which gosh, I hope you don't, okay? There was a very exciting study done in Montreal recently where they took actually medically diagnosed a music folks and did a pitch perception and recreation trial on them and they got them in touch with a music teacher. They helped to train them in their pitch discrimination and they improved right they improved they initially struggled with pitch discrimination but with the help from a teacher they got better so anyone can get better anyone can learn how to do this it's extremely exciting it's invigorating it's fascinating okay so basically what we know is no matter if you're diagnosably a music right there is hope for you and you can in fact learn to sing you're probably like, cool, this lady really cares about us not thinking we're tone deaf. And the answer is, yes, I do. <laughs>